What is going on? What is going on? Dun, 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 dun. When it comes crashing down and it hurts inside. Ah, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Lex Express checking in with some more WWE 2K22 news. So here we're going to be talking about some of the latest rating reveals. And here we go. The first one, Joaquin Wild and Jordan Devlin. Both at a 79 overall. How do you guys feel about these dudes? I have no idea who the hell they are. I'm sure they're from NXT. But I would like to find out who they are. If you guys can help me out with that, let me know in the comment section. Because I really don't know them. Not even one bit. Never heard of them. And yeah, 79 for both of them. So I guess that's good for NXT superstars. Next up, we got Raquel Gonzalez and Raul Mendoza. Two other superstars that I haven't really heard of. I've seen you guys talk about Raquel in the chat, but Raul Mendoza, never heard of him at all, not one bit. So 79 for Raul, 81 for Raquel. Not bad for a female superstar considering that, you know, there's Carmella who's below 80, Naomi and things like that. Raquel is one of the higher rated ones, so good for her. Now, look who we got over here. Maurice, uh, the Miz's wife. You guys may know her as the Miz's wife, but Maurice was very big uh, when the Divas division was booming with the Divas title, you know, the silver belt. Um, she was a champion for quite some time, and she got a 79 overall rating, which I think is pretty good considering she hasn't really wrestled. And all she really does is come out as an escort for The Miz at this point in time in her career. So good for her. 79 overall. Not bad. Not too shabby. Next up, we have Tamina. 75 overall for Tamina. One of the lowest rated female superstars or just superstars in general. Ah, Tamina, man. You know, she gets booked poorly in real life. She gets bad ratings in the game. What can I say? There's not much I could really say there. I, it is what it is. But here we got Bobby Roode. Glorious! I won't give in! I won't give in! Till I'm victorious! Ding! Alright. I don't know. Robert Roode, 81 overall, man. This guy used to be a beast in TNA when he got called up to the main roster. Unfortunately, he didn't do much. But when I went to NXT TakeOver in Orlando for the WrestleMania weekend, Robert Roode had an amazing match with Shinsuke Nakamura. And it really showed me in person, live, all the emotions that his entrance brings and his wrestling style, if combined with a good wrestler or a, a strong style technician like Shinsuke, it can work. And Robert Root has just not big, been booked the same on the main roster, unfortunately. But it is what it is. 81 overall for a guy who doesn't really do much on the main roster and he's with Dolph Ziggler now just running around chilling as the dirty dogs I think that's not too bad I mean if you really want to play with Robert Roode you could always change his overall but it is what it is next up we got Farouk now this is where the controversy controversy sorry begins all right so you guys see his 88 overall right 88 overall how in the blue hell is APA Farouk Tied with Ultimate Warrior, Goldberg, Randy Savage, Booker T. Farouk was amazing in his career, and APA was a lot of fun. And I'm actually not even mad that he got an 88. I'm more upset that they put him in the same category, or they put the other superstars that I just mentioned in his category, along with X-Pac. And it is crazy to me, as much as I love Randy Orton, based on their ratings, how do you have modern-day Randy Orton at an 88? Old Randy at an 88, just like Randy Savage, an Ultimate Warrior, who has their legend version in the game? It just doesn't make sense. Help me understand this, please. Now... I haven't been complaining about the actual game. I've been complaining about some of the ratings that I, I just don't see the the overall. I just don't get it. So Randy Orton is an 88. 
I know a lot of you guys that wanted him to be in the 90s are probably disappointed. But, you know, it's what we got. It's what we got. We're going to have to deal with it. We're going to have to swallow it up. You know what I mean? We're going to have to <sighs> swallow it up and just take it. Just take it. Just take it. You know, it is what it is. Now, today we have an epic stream coming. There is tons of gameplay out right now. We're going to check that out. But first, we got to check out their website because they've updated it. Yes, that's where I got a lot of these cards from. No worries, no worries. I'll put the link in the description box in case you guys want to visit this site on your own. But I'm just going to go through the rows of stars and highlight some of them. But here we go. Here's the WWE 2K22 roster page. And we're starting things off with Randy Savage at a, as an 88, which I mentioned already. But like I said, I'm just going to scroll through them slowly so you guys can see the updated page. They already put Becky in there. We got Biggie's rating there too. Cesaro. Uh, Charlotte Flair is there too. Which is funny that they call their Charlotte Flair here and not just Charlotte. Damian Priest hasn't been revealed with his rating yet. Dominic is there with his. Look at Farouk with the 88. Happy Corbin. They got Happy Corbin in the game with an 81. What else we got? Joaquin Wild, which I don't even know who the hell he is. Maurice. And then, like I mentioned, Naomi's a 79. Randy there with an 88. Ricochet's an 82. Dun, 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 All right. <laughs> Ray Mysterio out of 90. <laughs> I love Ray, but damn, they rated Ray Mysterio right now. What? Why? Because he's a cover, the cover star. They rated Ray Mysterio from right now as a 90 in comparison to his prime. Like, oh, 2K, 2K, 2K. Shayna Baszler, 84. You got Robert Roode up there. Look at Tamina, Ted DiBiase. And that's it for the roster page. Undertaker, who was also revealed, 90. Well, that's all we got for the roster page. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick update, man. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for all the love and support. If you're new to the channel and you're still tuned into this video, subscribe. Consider subscribing. Don't miss out on another stream or video, man. Drop a like if you haven't already. It helps the stream. I mean, it helps the video. I'm, I'm acting like I'm live right now. But, yeah, I'll see you on the live stream, all right? Peace. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I think the ratings were cool. It's all right. Whatever, man.